Hello, and welcome to Mercies with Ben. And today I'm harvesting some homegrown peppers from my garden, which includes these sweet banana peppers and a large poblano pepper. After washing them off, here's the poblano pepper, and then several banana peppers and these little tiny bell peppers that I also clipped at the same time. Now I'll begin by chopping them up into small discs. And if the seeds look kind of weird, like in this pepper, I'm gonna remove them before moving on to the next step. I did want to sneak a quick sample of the peppers, and these are pretty green tasting, but overall pretty lovely and fresh. For the poblano, I will do the same, where I'll cut from the tip until I get almost to the seeds, and then cut around the seeds in the opposite direction. This is all the peppers cut up, and to them, I'm gonna sprinkle in some salt to help draw out any moisture that's inside of them. This is a similar technique I used previously to make bread and butter pickles, and this is done to make crunchier texture in the final product. After sealing up the mixing bowl, I'll give it a quick mix and let it sit aside for two to three hours to draw out the moisture that are inside the peppers. And this is what the peppers looked like after that time. Now for pickling, I'm adding equal volumes of water and vinegar. So for this, I'm gonna use one cup of each and pour that into a large pot. Then I'll kick up the heat so the liquid begins to boil and add in your desired season. So for me, that's a couple cracks of fresh black pepper and some healthy dashes of turmeric to give it some color and flavor. The last thing to balance out the saltiness and the acidity in the peppers is to add a spoonful of sugar. And then once the vinegar is at a boil, it's time to add the peppers in. And it's important to leave behind any liquid that is released by the salt. And there isn't as much water as it would be if I use cucumbers, because bell peppers in general have less water inside of them. Then wait for the liquid to come to a boil with the peppers inside. And once you've reached that point, it's time to transfer that into a clean mason jar. It's easy just to scoop the peppers first into the jar and then pour the liquid over top of it, which is why I chose a pot and a ladle that has a lip to be able to transfer the liquid. Once the jar is filled up with that liquid, screw the lid on top. Be careful because right now the glass will be very hot, so I suggest holding this with something like a pot holder or a towel so you don't burn your hands. Then I place it in the fridge to chill and here's the results. They're sweet, slightly crunchy, and I bet these would go great on a sandwich. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. I'll see you again soon.